Oh, oh double no. death. Was oh, that? Yeah. I think we're both. I no, think you, you died me. under you me. me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Michael Jonathan Smith. I'm the showrunner of Twisted Metal, and we're going to be playing Twisted Metal Black from 2001 on the PS4. Now we're going to choose characters. There's John Doe. John Doe, use mm. caution. Nice, nice, nice. Looks different. <laughs> yeah. It's the gun. The gun is the gun. The gun. Yeah. 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 Same eyebrows. <laughs> I grew up not a huge gamer, but playing a lot of uh, like kitty games. My mom and I would play Atari and stuff like that together. So when anybody in the neighborhood got a PlayStation, it was a big deal. Did you just explode, Anthony? Yeah. Anthony's dead. Our apocalypse happened in 2002. I wanted to do that because the 90s and 2000s was like when these games came out, and that's just so synonymous, for me at least, with the time. <laughs> Noble Scott is killed for a bunch of stupid CDs. Stupid CDs? Good music is worth its weight in gold nowadays. I got my first car around 2002, and I love playing my CDs and driving. So I have a few scenes where I'm on the highway jamming out. That's my favorite thing. What about you, Stephanie? I didn't learn to drive in high school. I just didn't learn, but I did ride passenger with all of my Funny. friends. The seat that I have in this show was what I was doing. I was helping navigate. I was along for the ride. It'd be great if you could warn me before you drift like that. I f***ing slammed my head into the window. I said, hang on. Was there a stunt thing that you were like really wanted to do and were excited yeah, to do? Yeah, that fight. That fight that I got to do. That fight was awesome. Because I like just stood there and watched everything and I was like, I think I could do that. You know, you should let me <laughs> By the end, I had done the whole thing, which was exciting. That was cool. <laughs> You know what I didn't enjoy? Learning how to drive stick in 15 uh, oh, minutes right. so that Anthony could run into the car while I was driving it. Right. The whole time I was just like, it's Anthony Mackie! It's Anthony Mackie! It's Anthony Mackie! You know? <laughs> but I think it was okay. It worked It, 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 worked, it perfectly. worked great. Hang on. Thanks for the warning. The most fun was driving through the mall. So if I'm here, then the exit is... Oh, they have a footlocker. And... They're like, oh, well, you know, we want to grab these shoes and do this and do that and, you know, just don't hit the wall. <laughs> like, I'm not going to hit the wall. I can drive. So I, I can literally say I drove through a mall oh my God. and scooped some shoes off of a rack. I think the great thing about John is he's so angelic in the way he looks at life. He's such a, <laughs> he's such a simple guy. He thinks he has it all figured out. And with that comes a certain naivete that he has that really gives a spark to his character that you never really see. And kind of takes the frustration out of something like an apocalypse. What I love too about like, I remember our early conversations about John. Oh, 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 oh. oh double no. death. Was oh, that? Yeah. I think we're both. No, I think you, you died me. under you me. me. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. You want to go multiplayer again? No, 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 I'm going one player. Oh, you're going you one tell. player? You do it, you do it. So Sweet Tooth, in the games, he's always been like a maniac, and he's never had a ton of backstory. And I think it was really fun to like really build up Sweet Tooth as like a fully dimensional character, and shooting those scenes was like an absolute blast. Here for the show? I'm definitely here for the show! What was it like for you, Anthony, working with Joe? Because you guys had fight scenes together. Well, yeah, I mean, it hurt, <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm like, dude, you realize I'm not 250 pounds or your size, right? <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then working with Thomas, how was that for you guys? He's phenomenal, I think, in, in this. He's absolutely terrifying. And then I spit in his face that one time. Oh Remember my when God, I asked yeah. him? <laughs> Wait, whoa, why'd you do that? And he was very gracious about it. He was so nice. <laughs> that, was, that was a real moment for me. <laughs> we'll revisit that attitude in a few hours. Can't wait. I think the great thing about this show is it's an escape. It's cars, it's explosions, it's comedy. It's really fun. It's grounded in performances that feel really real. And you got to learn how to drive stick. And so that's the whole point. Stick, yeah. I want the audience to come away from this saying, wow. She learned how to drive stick for that role. <laughs> She's cool. No!